Hey YouTube, Joe here. So I got an idea for a project earlier today. I should have started this video then, but I didn't realize I was going to do a video then. Basically what I'm doing is making a little uh, small bike stand. I stand up the bike on when I'm working on it and I want to park out in the driveway, things like that. Took the lengths of western red cedar, cut off two longer pieces, and two shorter pieces. Shorter pieces are going to go down flat. Two stringers going out. That's just roughly in position. And then the bike wheel settles down in here, pulls the bike up. Like I said, I should have started this video earlier. I've already got the project underway, but I figured, well, I'll set up the camera and go from there. So these are the four parts. I used western red cedar to make it cheaper. I could use just a piece of regular construction 2x4, but I like western red cedar and I have some, so I'm going to make it look nice. I'll be back in a minute. This is the next step. Okay, so we're back. I've got them more or less into position here. Square things up a little bit. Just give me a second. holes in here and we're going to double check our fit. Some three inch deck screws here. Grab our driver. Okay. I'm only putting in four screws for now, not eight. I'll tell you why in a second. screws for now, not all eight, and the reason for that is I just want to do a, a test on it, make sure the fit is going to be good. If the fit is good, screws come out, I got all eight holes drilled, and I'll be using a waterproof wood glue as well as all eight screws. But first we're just going to do a quick little test, make sure this is going to work. Slide this out of the way. Grab a bike. This one is sized for my mountain bike. If it was for the road bike, the spacing would be a little bit less. And well, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'll be back in a second and we'll get on to it. Okay, so we're back. We've got the holes all positioned. Trial fit at the bike. Everything is good. We got the screws backed off. What I've got is the uh, tips of the screws just out a little bit, so when I put it back on, I can line it up with the holes once I have the glue in place, and then we're going to screw these guys down. Set that guy there, set that guy there. A little bit of wood glue, this is Type Bond 3, it's a waterproof glue, it's the same as they use in all the canoe and kayak paddles that I built. Bear with me a second here. Be 
use a paper towel here to wipe away the excess. here so you can see what I'm doing again. Wipe away that excess glue that squeezed out. screws, two at each corner, and a waterproof wood glue, type bond three. I'm going to roll this guy out of the way, set this down, and grab the bike. And back wheel just sets down in place like that, and there you go. Now if I want to tinker with the bike out here in the garage, oil chain or whatever, I don't have to balance it up against something, and also for sometimes parking it out in the driveway, instead of leaning it up against the fence, the front of the garage, things like that, I have a little place to put it. Here's a better look at it with the bike wheel settled in place. Uh, the angle I was recording from wasn't quite good enough to show this, so here you go. I'm also planning on building a bike stand to hang the bike from, work on it from a more upright level. That's another project for a little bit later on. But I just felt like doing this today, so knocked off one of these. I might make another one. I'm gonna sand it down tomorrow, put a couple coats of finish on it, and then that one's done. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, and you know the routine, hit the like button, leave some good comments down below, and uh, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do that. More videos coming soon, and we'll talk to you again soon.